Hey everyone, thanks for checking out another bonus episode of the New Marketing Show, a marketing podcast where we talk about how effective digital marketing web development solve business problems. And checking us out on Instagram TV or wherever you're getting this content. So today let's talk real quick about measuring results. You know, one of the things that we're asked quite often is if you work with an influencer or if you work in a real world like physical marketing capacity, such as a mailer or something like that, how's the best way to track results to your website? So it's, it's very, very simple. What we like to do is we like to give each influencer or campaign a specific URL with a specific landing page. From there, you can either redirect it to something else that's on your site or you can just place a form and try to use that for the con conversion page. That's the way that we like to do it. So once you do that, you can track all the traffic who's actually going from the different sources to that page. You can also do this by setting up goal paths within Google Analytics. Have it throw up a thank you page once you're done, and you'll be able to track who goes where and from what source. So if you're doing a direct mailer and you want to have it integrated, bring people back to your website, which I don't know why you wouldn't want to do, make sure you just set up a, a URL for that specific campaign. If you're working with influencers or social media, give them a specific URL where it can be companyabc.com slash person's name. Let's say Lisa. Companyabc.com slash Lisa. That way we can track the all of the, the progress and the traffic and the conversion you're getting from those specific sources to see if you're spending your money and your marketing budget wisely. Hey, thanks for checking us out. For more great content like this, make sure you subscribe to the new marketing show at trinitywebmedia.com slash iTunes.